Good afternoon. Uh, this is a quick video just showing um, a functionality within VMware UEM profile management for uh, launching and running scripts um, as an alternative to using NetLog on shares. I've been using this a bit recently and uh, just wanted to record the steps. So if we have a look, this is a view delivered VDI desktop. So I'm going to have a quick look at the environment variables. Um, and if we have a look here, we're getting three UEM variables. Now, the one I'm interested in is this one, UEM scripts. Um, and you can see it's pointing to a directory that's in my uh, Flex repository area, which we can just have a quick look at. This is my UEM share. Um, if we go into here in the Flex repository, now, there's a scripts directory here. That isn't created by default. You have to create that manually yourself. Um, so I've created that. And I've just dropped a, um, a test script in there. It's just a little PowerShell that launches a pop-up window just to tell that um, a script's running. So we can leverage this environment variable um, quite nicely, actually, for all sorts of different reasons. I've just done a quick... Um, example here and I've actually attached it to my notepad uh, template. If you have a look this is just the bog standard notepad template that you get um, out of the box with UEM and I have just added a user environment setting there um, which is a pre-import task and I have just added in here, you can see, a path to script. Now, I am using a PowerShell, and I am just pointing it at that environment variable that we mentioned earlier, so UEM scripts, and referencing the script that I want to run which is my test message.ps1 that I've put in there earlier. And that should run before the UEM template files apply, i.e. because I've got direct flex enabled. When I double click uh, a notepad executable, that script will run before my settings apply. Right then, so let's just have a quick look what that looks like in action. Just get rid of that. And so this is my VDI image, just say that Horizon client there. So this is my VDI. I'll just launch a notepad. And we can see the, the scripts run um, there, just as a, an example. And then notepad opens up as per usual. So really useful that um, quite often administrators of the, the view environment might not have access to NetLog on script, uh, script areas um, or group policy. So you can take another thing you can take out of that environment and put into your UEM and manage it on a per app basis. So you can set that script to run um, with a condition for your application. So really useful functionality there. Something that I've been using UEM for a while, but that's the first time I've really um, come across that. And uh, I'll definitely be using that a lot more in the future. So hopefully that was, that was useful. Thank you very much and see you next time.